Hey, uh, what's happening? Uh, throwing down, testing this one out. Actually, I played this one for a little bit, uh, uh quite a bit. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, I figure, you know what, something interesting to bring to my channel. Well, you know what, I want to throw down, I want to try some import. Um, I heard this wasn't too bad to play with, that it was fun. Um, I read it was like a fighting game or something. So, um, as far as that, I read it wasn't too difficult to fuck with because, you know, it was a fighting game. So, any, um, comprehension of Japanese or kanji, you know, is tolerable in this game because, it, you know, it's a fighting game. So, really, it's to the point, all you gotta do is press buttons and fight. So, I figure, you know, I'm gonna try it, gun them. It's cool. It looked cool. Actually, I didn't even pay too much attention to this game. I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Watch videos or whatever. And I figure, what can I bring to my channel? Um, that's cool. Well, you know, I'm going to try some imports. So, I did, um, Bleach, Heat the Soul. And now I'm doing Gun to Battle Universe. And I want to see how that is. Anyway, uh, the fourth sequel of Gundam Battle series re was released on July... Why am I doing all this again? Okay. Released on July 17th, 2008 in Japan. It features over 200 uh, MS units, including F91 in Mobile Suit Gundam F91 and Gundam in Mobile Suit Gundam Hathaway's Flash can be selected. Two UC stories, Mobile Suit Gundam ZZ and Mobile Suit Gundam Char's Counterattack. Uh, become as a part, yeah, become as a part of the campaign. On the other hand, every character has two personal abilities. Passive, which is activated for all times, and Additional, which is activated when player's HP GOG is at 30%. This game can inherit the Gundam Battle Chronicle save data. The game also lets let players use the ad hoc function to help each other in the normal campaign mode, unlike the previous games, which multiplayer mode is only available in the main menu. Interesting enough, I suppose. This is a bit more hefty than I was expecting. I, I, I just read it was pretty much basic and fighting and such. I don't even know what characters I'm putting in, so I don't know what the shit this will mean afterward. Um, but ever since I was playing this, I did go out and I tried to study some kanji. But it would probably help if I was also studying Japanese language as well, I suppose. Um... But, hopefully, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to, to, um, interpret the majority of that. I want to see if there's any characters, I don't think there is any, I'm not seeing any, um, yeah, I'm not seeing any characters that I've not translated already. Because I know, like, the single line dashes, that stands for, like, single, singular, one, um, and some such shit like that. I saw one or two in there, but I'd have to pull out my book that I was studying with. So you know what the fuck it meant, but it probably wouldn't mean shit within the context of whatever this game is trying to tell me, though. And, uh, I guess I find it interesting enough, though. I don't really know what the fuck I'm picking, I don't know who I'm picking, I don't know what that shit means, but... I thought I already went through all this. Maybe. I wasn't going to read it, so. Um. Yeah, it probably doesn't really matter in the context of this shit, though. What if anything that I can interpret? I can't interpret a damn thing.
However, I do know how to select different area place things, I think. Kind of. Anytime now. Maybe I should go back to training now. Am I in training? Let's see. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Move one basic control. Okay, I went to training. Cool. Yeah, I'm not entirely too certain what they're trying to tell me. Alright. Okay, so I just got to either walk or run and go this way. Okay, why did I do that? I could already been done. Okay. Oh, I gotta go both ways. Okay. Let's go anytime now. Yay! Success! I don't know what the kanji means, but cool. Glad that uh, I can move on to the next part in a moment here. See, yeah, every once in a while I'll go through and I'll try to pick up a few kanji. I try to do like five kanji a day, but it's been like a week or two since I last did that. Um. <sighs> but it doesn't help if I'm not learning, um... Okay. It would probably also help a bit if I was also learning the language in tandem with learning the kanji as well. I do find it interesting though. Cause like, I've been into fucking... Damn. Okay, are we done yet? See, so, yeah, I've been into fucking Asian shit for many years. Um, like, I didn't really, really get into it. But, like, it always... For some, maybe me, started off with the interest within anime and that whole stuff. And then from there... You know, the movies, of course, as well. I think I started watching Japanese anime and whatever not first and then I went into the the movies and TV shows. I think I watched maybe a TV show as well. Did I say TV shows? Not anime, but like an actual TV series. I think I watched maybe one or two. It's not anime, but I can't remember what it was called. It's been a while too. Yay! I'm done with that tutorial part. Yeah, I just figure I'll see how this is. I like to learn this stuff, but it also helps provide some people to learn with as well. Or at least some Japanese people to speak with, so they can vocally... You know what, maybe I should try to take some classes, too, though. That might help. They're telling me what to do, and I'm like, yeah. Okay, I think this one, I don't know what I was doing. I suck fasted and whatnot. Then I kind of gave up and then came back to it later. So I had stuff to work on or something. I don't really know what I'm doing, though. Yeah, okay, I was an idiot, I admit. Okay, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, 
Like, subscribe, check out other videos, stay tuned for more of my imports and such. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and goodbye.